So anyway, I got this YouTube friend named Toe Wrecker. At least I think his name's Toe Wrecker. I never can tell because he seems to have changed his name at least once or twice on uh, YouTube there. It's like he's Toe Wrecker and then he's Belts Towing. You know, I, I think he's got that whole multiple personality thing going on for him. But I, I try not to hold that again him because he's still a pretty good old boy. But anyway, old Toe Wrecker, a while back, he sent me a tachometer, which I put in the rat rod, which was just honking. Made me happy as heck. And I offered to pay him, and he said, no, he said, just find something in your go rods and send me something. So I looked around in the go rods, and I didn't see anything right off. But I had this speeding ticket for 160 miles an hour that I'd gotten in the Rambler one time. And, and I wanted to, thought, I thought, I always thought it was cool to put that, like, under the windshield wiper when you go to a car show so everybody could see that you, you know, was serious hot rod and all. So what I did was I got in the computer and I raced out my tag number and my name and all on there and I put the name of his wrecker in there and I sent him that speeding ticket. You know, I figured he could do the same thing, impress his buddies and all with it. And then I found something else in the yard sale, a little uh, tomator kind of sign thing you do when I mailed him that. I figured that was the end of it. Well, last night I got a box and I wasn't expecting no box and I I opened up the box and it had this thing in it. This here is a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a light flasher. It's a yellow light flasher, like goes on a wrecker. Now, back when I was a younger fella, uh, we managed to acquire an old 73 Chevy three-quarter ton truck. It had been in a fire and it about burned all the paint off one side of it and all the rubber and everything. Wasn't no motor in it, but it still had the transmission in the rear end. And we found an old motor and stuck in it. And I, I got up on the back of it and I fabricated me up a, a wrecker as an old hand crank wrecker that somebody was throwing away and we used that to haul a race car for years and I got me a couple of these lights, I don't know if it was exactly like this one, but they used to have the little glass things, little chrome things inside there that would spin around, they'd make the light go like this when you go down the road. We used to be coming back from a racetrack, you know, driving on them old main back roads, you know, over the hills and valleys, towing a race car in the back and them lights would be going around and around. I just thought it was the coolest thing I ever, you know, like, oh man, I just loved it. I just love that kind of thing so anyway tow wrecker sent me this year and up here in Maine you're supposed to have a, a yellow blinking light on your vehicle if you're plowing snow and I didn't have one so I can put this on the Jeep now and uh, then I'll be semi-legal which is uh, something I'm really not used to but you know if it's free I can absolutely do it so thank you very much tow wrecker I appreciate this year uh, flashing yellow light later on I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna hold these two wires up to a battery and we're gonna watch this baby we're gonna watch this baby flash a little bit so everybody can see it and y'all can all be impressed like I am yes I am <clears throat> said that enough uh, so I think I'll hush now y'all have a nice day Okay, then we're out here in the garage, and we're going to give this here uh, yellow flashing light a test. I done separated out the wires here so that I can sit up here on the battery and uh, see if we can make this thing go off. Oh, dears now. Oops, doesn't happen. I wonder if that's because I dropped it a while ago. I did, you know. Dang, hope I didn't kill it. Okay, let's go this way. I suppose these things have to ground. That doesn't make sense. It wouldn't have two wires if they had to the ground. Nope. Nothing. Dang! Dang, I say. That could be my fault. I did drop it a while ago in the house. Wonder if there's a way to take it apart. Hmm. Well, dang, I say, and dang again. Oh, well. Maybe I'll play with it some more. I might get it figured out here in a little bit. Hmm. That looked like it comes apart real easy like. I bet I killed it. You know, I was in the house there and I, was, I just dropped it right on the floor. I probably killed it. Dang, I say. That's okay though. It's a thought that counts. I still appreciate it, Toe Wrecker. Even if I did kill this thing before I ever got to see it work. I don't think my battery's dead. I could test that. I give that battery a quick test. I hope you're out of gear. That would be a negatory. <laughs> But the battery's still good. All right, so I'll sort this out.
Alright, just for the sake of me making sure I'm giving this thing the entire benefit of the doubt, <clears throat> I thought I'd bring it back out here and ground it to these bolts and then see if it works. But sometimes, I mean, it might be that it has to be grounded to work. And that would be, that would be a negative. That'd be just like old Toe Raptor to send me a light that don't work just so he can get me out here in the freezing cold trying to make it work. <laughs> Alright. Y'all have a nice day.